All right, Saskatchewan taxpayers, there's a lot of talk recently about public school funding and teacher salaries. Well, here are some numbers that you may not have come across. According to government figures, in 2000, the number of students in the K-12 system was about 184,000. Yet by 2009, enrollment had dropped to about 159,000 students. At the same time, costs increased from about $1.1 billion to over $1.6 billion. In other words, there are fewer students, yet skyrocketing costs. Doesn't really make much sense, does it? On top of that, the Saskatchewan Teachers Union is now calling for 12% pay increase in just one year. But what they won't tell you is that there have been some pretty generous gains in their contract over the past few years. In 2007, a teacher starting out would have been paid $43,000. The following year, their pay would have automatically increased to about $47,000. The year after that, it would again automatically have increased to over $51,000. There are several other automatic increases in the contract. Right now, a teacher's pay maxes out at about $73,000. That's about $3,000 more than what the average Canadian teacher's pay maxes out at. So what do all these numbers mean? Well, the government doesn't need to shovel a whole lot more money into the public education system. What it needs to do is look at controlling costs more. What you can do is speak out. Contact the Minister of Education and tell her to hold the line on salaries and look at a review of education costs. I'm Colin Craig from the Canadian Taxpayers Federation. Thanks for listening. Please forward this message to your friends.